hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ina so in today's video we'll be looking at how to install Zenmap which is a GUI version of Nmap on a Kali Linux machine so Nmap is a tool that we can use to discover open ports or to discover hosts on a network so it's a, a great tool for penetration testing when you're looking to scan a network for different information such as open ports and uh, what what devices are on a given network now zenmap doesn't come uh, pre-installed with the color linux so we have to do the manual installation normally you have the option of using nmap which is just uh, you can only run commands via the terminal and most of the uh, options can be found out by just typing nmap and pressing enter and you can see the different options, which are quite a few. Uh, if we try to do Zenmap, you see that it's not there. It says Zenmap command not found. So we'll go ahead and uh, begin by doing the installation of the uh, file. We'll open a browser and then we'll Google for, let's say Zenmap download. Uh, we'll go to the link that takes us to um, nmap.org. Once you get to this uh, page, we we'll click on the Downloads tab. And then here, it's uh, there's different vi uh, versions for different operating systems. So we're looking to get the one for Linux. We'll click on Linux. And on this page, you see that it's got nmap, ncat, nping, but what we are looking for is a zenmap GUI, and this is the file right here. It's an RPM file, so we'll need to convert that to a DEB file. So once you click on it, it should download, and that should go by default to your downloads folder. So We'll go ahead and uh, minimize this window. Now we'll need to go to the downloads folder to see if we actually have that file there. So let's see the and then here this is the downloads folder. Let's go to it. We'll do ls and uh, the file we just downloaded is right here. And it's, uh, like I said, it's a uh, .rpm. So we need to, since we can't actually install this, we have to change it to a DEB file first. So let's do it clear. List again, and now, in order for us to convert this file, we need to install um, a tool called Alien. And the command to install it is gonna be up get, actually we need to do sudo up install alien dpkg dev space dev helper space build essential. So we need the tools for converting this to the DEB file and then we need a, a tool to actually to do the installation of uh, this one here. We'll use this to install the DEB file. So we'll need a file that ends with DEB like this too right here. So once you have that command there, just press enter. And then I had already installed this earlier, so it didn't do the installation. It's saying that we are already at the newest version for Alien. Now we'll go ahead and use Alien to do the conversion. So let's clear this. Uh, we'll list again. And now we'll run Alien 
Mr. Sudo again. And then the name of the files and then map dash seven dot nine four dash one dot no arc dot rpm. Press enter. And it's saying that it generated a the deb file will do ls and this is the file we have now we can go ahead and uh, install this file to install the file we'll use the dbkg command so let's go ahead and do that it's gonna be sudo dbkg dash i then map underscore seven ninety four iPhen two underscore all dot db. Just make sure you don't have a typo and then press enter. Okay, so it looks like it's done. Now the only way for us to the only way for us to find out if it's on our system now and we are able to use it is by running the zenmap command and uh, we'll run this command on the terminal. So let's go ahead and do that. Do zenmap. Press enter. And it's saying that since we are running at non uh, as a non root user we're not going to have all the commands so all the, the all the options are not going to be available you can click ok and here is zenmap so like i said earlier zenmap is just nmap but we run the commands using the gui that way we don't we don't have to memorize all the different options which can be which are quite a lot with the zen map it kind of simplifies some of the uh, options and the some of the scans that we can run for for instance if you if you come here you can select different scans and it is going to generate the commands for you like if i do a ping scan it does the command for me all i have to do is put in the target here if i change it to quick scan it changes the command and uh select the option for me so i don't have to memorize all the options so for the best results again you just want to use sudo that way you get all the options so that's pretty much it for this video that's how we install zenmap on a Kali linux machine i'll see you all in my next video thanks bye